Do you want to know whether without using any web, uh, website or pre-built apps? Then you are watching the right video. In this video, we are going to find weather using Python. In this video, we are not going to do. We are not going to show the weather uh, in a graphical way, like showing the weather uh, weather report in TK Enter window or PyQt file. Because if I do that, this video is going to is going to be very long. So if the if this video performs well, I am going to upload that video. So without any further delay, let's have fun with code. So we are going to use a module called PYOWM. Py so this is an API for weather forecast and weather history and all so let's come uh, i've opened a website called openweathermap.org i will provide the link in the description you can go and open the link so here we need to uh, you need to create a sign in or sign up and then here you'll you'll need an api key to use this module so let's see how to get the api key after you sign in, you'll see here uh, about your account. If you click on that, you can see my API keys. Then if you click on that, you'll, uh, you'll need to sign in before continuing. So let's sign in. After you sign in, then you'll have a window like this. You'll have keys, name and status and action. You will already have a default key and if you want you can generate more so you need to copy this key and then let's start programming so first let's import the module import pi ohm pi ohm so we need to create an instance of this module so let's say uh, let's say something called weather i so let's say pi ohm dot o w m and then here you need to pass your api key so let's copy this from the website and then paste it here so after we do this we are we need to create another variable called you can name it anything you want weather manager so this will be dot weather manager so after this we need to create another variable which will get the information about the weather uh, in the current uh, location so let's say weather at place is equal to weather manager dot weather at place and then here you need to pass in the here you need to pass in the place place in the sense city or the place which you live so it will be it will not be nice asking the user or to enter their location instead we need to get the we need to get the location by default so I found a solution for this we need so I have opened a website called ipinfo.io if when you open this website you'll have a window type of thing here and then you'll have country location and city and we have city Hyderabad so this is the city where I live so we are going to use this website to get the users location let's come back let's come back here and import requests so we are going to get the website first so let's say um, let's create a variable called place request dot get and then we are going to pass the URL ipinfo dot 
io. So this is the website and let's print this place and let's just make this a comment and now let's run this L now let's run this file and now we have response 200 so we we got a res we got response from this website it means we have entered the correct url but we need to get the city uh, the data in this seat date we need to get only the city not all other things so instead of just place if you type dot text and then if you run the program and then we have all the information from the all the information from the website we have region is telangana and city is hyderabad so we need to get only this data so let's create another variable called data data is equal to place dot json json and then let's print data and we are going to print city so let's run this program and now we only have Hyderabad so this is how we get data from websites this is also called web scrapping so let's create a variable called city this will be equal to data and then city so we got the place now let's pass in pass that here city and let's create let's try printing this whether it place and now we got uh, this is not we want so we need the temperature minimum temperature so we need two other variables so let's create them whether is equal to weather at place dot weather and then let's create variable called temp and then weather dot weather dot temperature and now let's try to let's try to print this tem and now we have te temperature is 298.38 and this is in i guess this is in kelvin so we need this in celsius so, so if you need the temperature to be in celsius you can just type it here that's an extra s so let's run the program now and now we have 25.223 degrees and 26.73 so these are all the temperature temperature max min and it it's like feels like and i don't know what is this temperature gave so if you want to access each one of this separately you, you can even do that so let's say n o r normal temperature let which is equal to temp and let's pass t e m p so this is called a dictionary and this temp if you pass in this if you pass temp then you'll get 25.23 if you pass uh, temp max then you'll get to 26.73 so this is how dictionaries works if you want a detailed video on dictionaries comment down below i'll i'll upload a video on that so that's it for this video guys 
If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.